Well, hello, my Minecraft family. It's me, Mindless, on the Zetacraft SMP server. And I did it. I finally did it. I decided to go mining for some ancient debris. And in doing so, I wound up creating a rather interesting project, uh, none of which I recorded because for the past week I had some vocal issues, sort of like a laryngitis. So I couldn't do any recording, and I decided, well, you know, I'm going to do something grindy, and that's what led me to uh, mining for ancient debris. But, uh, yeah, now I need to kind of recover something, and that would be my elytra. That's right, so I'm here getting a spare elytra off the wall, because I need to head back into the nether, back into my strip mine, and try to recover my elytra. How did all this happen, you may ask? Well... I'll kind of explain that to you. As I was mining for the ancient debris, uh, I was getting a lot of hoglin spawns, and it was driving me mad because I would come out and boom, dead, boom, dead. Hoglins just kept on killing me. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to spawn proof this area. So I started laying down some slabs, actually some uh, cobblestone slabs, and it looked completely ugly. Yeah, it looked absolutely horrible. And I just couldn't, I just couldn't let that stand. So I started cleaning it up and cleaning it up more and just like painting a room. Once you start on one wall, you got to do them all, right? So that's what I did. So now I'm here standing in front of my portal, uh, modestly designed here for my ancient debris mine. Yes. So let's go take a look at all the progress I did that unfortunately I was not able to record. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. It is... Interesting to say the least. I had no expectations going into this. This was my original walkway down to this area and it was a pain in the butt to get to but now it is easy through the nether portal and here we go. This is it. This is now my ancient debris mining tunnels. Look at that, huh? Isn't that cool? Yeah, it all started with just some cobblestone slabs just to stop the spawning and uh, turned into this uh, really cool area I must say I was very very happy with the way this turned out I, I wish I could have recorded it because the the way it turned out was just rather interesting uh, starting with the floor and then I had these tunnels which were open and I'm like well instead of having these open tunnels they look kind of ugly and put up these doors and then with the doors there they match too much of the nether right uh, sorry nether rack so I'm like well it needs some contrast so then I put up some stone and then I put up all the different stone around it, and I said, well, now I need some steps getting up into this area. So I said, well, let me put down some steps. So I put down some steps, and I was like, well, that looks cool. And then slow and slow and slow, it just went all the way around. So now I got this really cool structure, and I put this pattern on the floor. This was kind of like the last thing I did, because with all of this cobblestone, it just looked really weird uh, to have this nice-looking room with these walls, but just, you know, floor looked absolutely horrible. So I just uh, kind of put this structure together, and I think the color palette actually works. It took me a little while to figure this out, but um, I like it. I kind of really do like the uh, color palette. Then over here, I kind of said, well, you know, make it look like there's a forge over here. This is where they, they melt down their gold, and they start making their gold bricks, because this is really, like, what I would consider a piglin home. I guess it's like, or a piglin mine. Let's say it's the mine. It's the gold mines for the piglins. So they have uh, gold storage over here, which is kind of neat. And I added some of the... Uh, nether brick over here from all the netherite i mined out of here i'm sorry all the nether rack i mined out of here i smelt it up and i uh, made some nether brick so i think that looks really cool here so really this is uh my ancient debris mining tunnels so if we look uh we open all these doors you can see these are these are my strip mining tunnels all the way down now the one thing i can do on camera for you guys is mine up all the ancient debris so here's an ancient debris i left that i can go ahead and mine up i put a torch on it and i put a torch on them so when i zoom in i could see everywhere in these tunnels where there is some ancient debris that i left over that i can go ahead and mine up so everywhere there's a torch there's some ancient debris down these tunnels so that one has none so basically we don't have to go down there and i even left the ancient debris here that i found in the ceiling and i found over here and i found over there and over there and over there and over there so yeah, you know what? Now that I'm on camera and I can talk again, let's start collecting all this ancient debris.
All right, if I remember correctly, behind this one is actually lava. So if I break that, lava is going to come out. So we're going to have to come back to this one and figure out a strategy to get that one out. Uh, but let's keep going. Oh, check it out. I found him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't explain this to you guys, but uh, the reason I had to come back and get my elytra is because at one point... Oh, no, he's gone. Because at one point, I was... Uh, yeah, okay. Let me explain this. At least I know where he is. He's behind this door. Okay, so what I was doing is I was placing down these gold blocks over here, and I totally forgot that when you mine up a gold block, piglins get mad, and I... But, yep, that's what I did. I mined it up. They got mad at me, killed me, and they took my elytra and he ran off. And I have yet to find him, and I just spotted him. Uh, so before I engage him for battle, I want to actually get some armor on. Okay, I am all geared up. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got ancient debris in my hand. I don't, uh, don't want to lose that if I die. So let's put that in here. And uh, yep, now that I'm all geared up, let's go. There he is. There he is. All right. I want my elytra back, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Are you ready? Are you ready? I want it. Ow! Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, I got my stuff back. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. All right. So I got my elytra back. I got my boot. Uh, whatever. I, I don't even know what he took from me. All right, cool. I got all my stuff back. All right, let's get rid of this gear. It's weighing me down. And I got my elytra back. Woohoo! All right, let's keep going for that ancient debris. Oh no, we're coming down to the last two doors. These are the last two doors. Oh, we do have some in there, cool. Cause I am, I am hoping for at least the stack. Uh, I know we have like 50 something that I put in the uh, end. Yeah, I think we have like 50 that I put inside of the shulker box before we attack that piglin to get my stuff back. So what do we have now? We have uh, two. Oh no, I don't know if we'll have enough. And last door, last door. Ah, bust. All right. Oh, oh, wait. There's still some in the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Let's get the stuff in the ceiling. Can't forget that. It's like sitting there right waiting for the picking. But it definitely not going to be enough to get 64. Doesn't look that way at, at all. Is there any more in the ceiling? I think this one over here I didn't get. Yep, didn't get this one. All right. There we go. Here we go. Any behind it? Any behind it? Any around it? No. All right, I think that's it. We we went through all the doors. We went through everything down there. We went through all these doors. Went through all these doors. Yep, 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 yep. Did all those doors. And got all the ceiling. All right, that's it. Let's go tally it up. And we had 50, so our grand total is 55 ancient debris. All right, that was not a bad haul. And we got this really cool. Ooh, I think, I think they're mad at me. We got this really cool design out of it, too. Uh, for now, I want to get my ancient debris back to where I'm going to need it, and that is at the Mega Base. That's right, we need to keep continuing on this Mega Base because this season is definitely ticking down. So, what I want to do is, in through this archway, I want to put in some stairs that go all the way up to the top of this uh, pyramid. And when you come off of here, right about in the middle, yeah, I, I guess that gold block's not exactly middle this is. But I want it to go up so that we have staircases that go all the way up to the tippy top. So I was thinking, and I have this red nether brick stairs that was provided to me by the cuddly cacti. I don't know how they knew I needed it, but I needed it. So what I want to do is I want to make that the center stair going all the way up. And then we're going to put some mossy... Uh, stone brick off to the side so we'll make it about that wide yeah I think that looks pretty good and uh, the reason I'm going with this red nether brick is because I, I I I don't know how true this is but it seemed like the staircases on some of these mine and, and Aztec um, structures actually were like channel ways for like this sacrificial blood and stuff to travel down through so I thought making it red would be kind of cool and I want this to be a little bit of a tight tight alleyway here, so it makes it a little more, more built up. All right, so what are we going to do? What are we, <laughs> oh, man, what are we going to do? All right, so we definitely want to just, you know, do a standard stair-step pattern all the way up to the top. 
just like so. And then we're going to run this red nether brick up as well. So we'll have that going up uh, right through the middle. Just like so. And we're going to run that all the way up the top. And this time, instead of making these all uh, mossy cobblestone brick stairs, because it'll just blend in with this too much. As I go up, I'm going to do some variation here. So I've got a whole bunch of mossy cobblestone. I've got some regular cobblestone stairs. Uh, do, do, do. I thought I had some regular, yeah, I got some andesite stairs. So I'm going to go ahead and, and as I go up here, I'm just going to scatter them through just to give it some uh, contrast and break up the pattern. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get this one done. Did I ever mention how much I hate placing stairs? Well, if I haven't, I hate placing stairs. But it looks like they are just about all in place now, so let's uh, let's take a look. Let's fly over here and see how they look. Oh, what's it going to look like? What's it? Oh, check that out. Oh, that red stripe looks so freaking cool. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Whether or not it was blood that went down the center channels of some of these, I think it should be because that looks fan-freaking-tastic. Wow, that looks awesome. It looks like I have a hole over there. All right, well, I got to fix that. All right, well, that looks uh, looks pretty cool. Let's check it over from this angle. Woo ah, that looks a little funky from this angle. Yeah, that doesn't look good. <laughs> you got to check these things from every angle. Yeah, that doesn't look good. I think maybe I need some, like, a, I need, like, a support wall or something going down the side of that. Okay, what I was thinking for like a supporting wall was to put basically a support post down here at the bottom of each side and then attach a wall going up. And then maybe at each level I put some of these supporting posts. And uh, yeah, I think that would look pretty pretty darn... Man, what is that slime? I keep hearing the slime squishing. It's, it's very distracting. I think he's underneath here. Yep, there he is. All right, let's take this guy out because you are annoying. You're making too much noise. Yes, go, 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 go away. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, look at them. They look so cute. Trying to jump around in the, <laughs> in the tall nether, nether wart. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Okay, back to the supporting structure that we're going to put here. So, yeah, we're just going to have these, these structures. These posts here at the bottom, and then I think we'll just work our way up like so on each side. And uh, yeah, I think that should look good. Maybe we'll do some variations along the way, uh, put in some some walls, or maybe even make some of these stairs. Like, let's knock that out, and maybe maybe like put in something like that just to give it that more ruined look. Maybe we can break one out here. Uh, put in something like this one here. Yeah, just give it that broken up feel. So that should help give it some actual structure support so it looks like it's in place and looks like it should be attached. And uh, yeah, I think we'll work that all the way up and at each level here we'll put some posts as well to make it uh, actually look like it fits in nice and neatly. All right, let me knock that out real quick. All right, and there we have it. We now have the supports. So let's go over here where it looked horrible and see if it looks better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That definitely looks better. Check. Whoa, wrong button. Ah, ah. Check it out. There it is. The zoom button. That's what I want. Look at that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And I, I put in, like, some variation. I added some walls to get some shadowing in there. I added some chiseled stone just to give it that Mayan or Aztec look. Uh, you try to put in some uh, cobblestone here in the pillars just to differentiate them from the actual stairs. Oh yeah, that looks way better, way better. Let's check it out from the front. And wait, I fell. Ah! <laughs> All right, well, here it is from the stairs. Oh, that looks great. Oh, I do love it. That looks really, really good. So if you're coming in from the actual entryway, yeah, yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks fantastic. Oh, I can't get enough of it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that. 
Oh, that's so cool. Oh, the sun is going down, and it is really dark over there. Uh, we're going to do something about lighting, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, let me sleep. Before we wrap things up, I want to do one more time lapse because I want to add these stairs to each side. So we have three more of these to do. So I got to put one here and on the other side and then the other side. So let's get her done. We have stairs, yes, on all four sides. It's fantastic. Let's see if I could do this. I'm not so good at this. Uh, yeah, there we go. So you can see that it's on all four sides. And I'm falling to my death. And let's see if we can see it. Let's see, let's see. Well, it's a little bit a little bit hard to see this way. Um, let's see if I can go up in the air again. Up, 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 up. There we go, that's a good view. So you can see we got it on all four sides now. This is absolutely so fantastic. I feel like I'm actually making progress on this temple. I know we did a lot on the walls, we did a lot on the mazes, but it really didn't seem to be affecting the major piece, which is the temple and the pyramid. But now it looks like we're actually getting somewhere, and I'm so excited, so excited. Uh, but one thing I want to do is put this into shader mode. Yes, that is right. We have to see this in shaders. Uh, I love me some shaders. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it takes so long to switch and Optifine. Come on, shaders. Shaders, shaders, shaders. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to go up a little higher here. Oh, look at that. Oh, with the shaders, it makes the shadowing just, oh, so perfect with all these, like, stairs. Oh, man. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, we got to take a flyby. We got to take a flyby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With the shaders on, we get some real definition due to the shadowing. Oh, that looks brilliant. Oh, it looks exactly... It almost looks like water. That's weird how the shadow is moving in the, in the stairs there. But, oh, that is so cool. Oh, my God, I love it. Love it, love it, love it so freaking much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That thing is coming along. All right, all right. I know I'm marveling too much about it. You guys are probably like, okay, enough already. Enough already, mindless. It looks good. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look that awesome. Come on, you know. But, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. And, you know, we're going to have to call this an episode. I really do want to get more done. I probably will. Just jump right into the next episode and just start working on it. Um, so thank you all for watching. And I hope you have an awesome day. And... You know, check out all the other Zetas. The descriptions, I mean, the links are in my description below. Please check them out. They can use your support just as much as I do. And once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And have a great day. And I am out of here. <laughs>